All right, guys, today's video, we have an epic one for you. I just bought a $600 Amazon returns palette. Oh man, this thing's even as tall as me, isn't it? I have no idea what's inside or how many boxes are inside the palette either. Joe, how many boxes do you think are even in here? I don't know. It could be a box of Amazon gadgets which are worth money or I possibly just could have bought a pile of junk. Oh man, did I just waste my money? One thing's for sure though, we're gonna find out. Let's get to it. Man, I don't even know where to start. Should I start from this angle or this angle? So we're actually gonna start by using a ladder and go from the top just because I'm, I'm not sure if like if I cut it from here, boxes are just gonna fall up on me. So we're actually gonna grab the ladder. I definitely think you're right in which there's probably like 45 items in here. So this actually might take us all day but in terms of Oh man, some of these boxes are actually pretty heavy. So Joe, I'm actually probably gonna need your help on loading this crate. We started unloading some boxes from the top and then I kind of realized like the boxes aren't leaning against the wall. So I thought, you know, let's just start cutting it from the side and then unloading it that way. But unfortunately, this is what a $2 box cutter at Walmart gets you. And it's just the handle it looks like. So unfortunately it's not working. Luckily I do have another knife. We're gonna attack it from the side. Oh man, I have no idea what some of these items are, but we might be taking some L's on them. But the good thing is that the box is not leaning, so I'm not too afraid to actually just open it from this entire, so I can just probably just like lean it like that, but I don't want stuff to fall, but there's a lot of tubes it looks like. Oh, great. All right, guys, without even knowing what this is. Oh, I thought it was an empty box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought they just gave us a box. Some of these feel like extremely, extremely hollow. So I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried as to what's inside. But I think at this point, I can probably just cut it and we'll start unboxing it. Wow, what a knife. Smith & Wesson. Yeah, I don't even know, $2 Walmart knife. All right, let's actually start unboxing these. All right, so we're gonna start the unboxing process and we're gonna start with this little guy here. I mean, this was supposed to be like a medium crate size pallet. But, you know, why not start with this one? We'll see what's inside. Oh my gosh, and within a box is a smaller box. Um, let's hope it's not, well, it's actually a set of eight taper pill home decor wedding. I still don't know what it is. And I actually think so far we're starting this video off with an L. I have no idea what this is. Um, I'll have to look it up later, but let's move on. <laughs> so on this box, it says it's from Gas stock, ghost stock. We aim at offering kids a best beginning. So I wonder if it's a toy or not, but it looks like it's been repackaged. So opening it up, it is quite heavy. I'd say it's around like 20 pounds or so. Looking at what it is, what could it possibly be? And for this thing, it's a, a mat of some sort. Man, this is like Christmas, but it's like a, I have no idea what this is. So it says we aim at kids we aim at offering kids a best beginning, but it looks like it's a dog pool. <laughs> so a little weird, they have a weird model. I'll show you guys what the, it's a, they, I think this, this company needs to kind of rebrand what their, their model is. Well, I think that's about it. So it is a dog pool. Hopefully I can maybe get like $20 from it. So now we have a bunch of tubes, a bunch of tubes. Some of them do feel really hollow, but let's open it up. And so what we've got, you know, people in Washington actually might like this. There's a bunch of umbrellas. <laughs> so there's actually about eight of them in here. I might, you know, maybe might do some nice things and actually donate this to the, the state of Washington where it always rains all the time. So that's the first tube. Again, we have two other tubes. This one here is so hollow that I just want to actually just stab it right in the middle. We'll actually see. Come on, money. You know, this is actually pretty fun. It's like, what, what's inside the box, you know? And I wouldn't be surprised if all I got was a, it's a tension rod. Joe, do you don't even know what a, you know what a tension rod is for? No idea either, but it's a tension rod. You know, if anyone watching this wants a tension rod, you know who has one. But so far, not to anything crazy, but let's move on to the next one. With this one here, it actually says what it is. So what I'm worried is, so this one says that it's an expandable folding rack. I assume for like drying clothes or fabrics or bed sheets. This is actually pretty neat because my girlfriend has actually been wanting one of these. But I just hope that all the parts are coming with it. I'm not gonna unbox it for you guys, but so far I think this is maybe around like at least five bucks. So it looks like you attach it to the wall and then it kind of pulls out, which is pretty neat. So moving on to the next one. 
This is another one where it kind of says what it already is. And it's like that back seat. It's like that back trunk window cover. Or at least I think it is. Now it says it's for cats and dogs. Let me actually open it up. Let's actually check it out what it is. But it says is that it's a back seat cover to kind of give your trunk some shade. We'll see though. Oh boy, I hope it's just with all these items. I just hope that at least they're working. So I've got like a bunch of screws in there. And then, so you see here, it's like a, a, what do you call it? What on earth is this? So this here is actually a retractable baby gate. I was totally wrong. It's definitely not a backseat cover. <laughs> nor is it for cats or dogs like what it says on the bed or on the box but i guess you can use it for cats and dogs to kind of prevent them from going like a certain room in your place but i'm hoping maybe like this will be like another five or ten bucks so i mean we'll, we'll see so far so putting it back all right so this one says it's a large silver aluminum flip chart display easel but just like the other boxes you never actually know what's going to be inside this could just be like a, a bar for all we know but I'm gonna take it for what it is. I'm not sure if I should open it, but I'll let you guys know later on when I actually do open it for what it is. But I'm hoping I can get another five bucks for this one here. So we actually have two of those. We have two of those easels. I guess people really don't like those easels. <laughs> so two of those. Now we're almost done with the tubes. So this is another one of the tubes where it kind of feels empty, but let's just go ahead and open up and see what's inside the mystery box. Maybe I have another tension rod. So if anyone needs tension rods, I'm your guy because I might have two of these. And what we've got here is a... I'm not sure what this is. Guys, what do you think this is? There's a thank you letter. So how to get rid of waste for convenient shipping. So it looks like this is just a cover for the table. Okay, it's a plastic cover to kind of protect your wooden tables. It's kind of neat. I'll be honest, so far we're starting with a big L. I really do wonder if we're gonna make our money back after spending $600 bucks or $600 on this crate. So, so far all the two boxes have been kind of L's. So my recommendation is like, if you see a lot of tubes in your Amazon pallets crate, probably stay away from it, but you never know. So moving on to this one, this is a nice flat one. So we're actually gonna open it. Doesn't really give any indicator as to what it is, but we'll see if anything, it might just be a frame. So maybe I should probably be careful and cut it from the side. Joe, you want to guess what's inside here before I actually open it? Picture frame. All right, we're saying picture frame. I feel like it's another pet item for some reason. Oh, it's actually a, oh, this is pretty neat. So you guys can't see it yet, but what this actually is, is a neon sign. And so I've actually bought in a neon sign before and it's quite expensive. So what actually depends on if I can resell the sign is, um, what actually do the words say? So, Joe, you were wrong about the frame, but what do you, what do you actually think the neon sign actually says? Open. <laughs> it's probably an open sign. <laughs> yeah. So this says, okay, it doesn't say open or close, which is a good thing. And we've got a nice neon pink sign here that says, together is a beautiful place to be. I think that's a sign. <laughs> So hopefully it still works. I mean, it's pretty neat. Neon signs are not cheap, so I'm hoping I can get like 20 bucks for this. But of course, in particular, it depends on what words people want to buy when it comes to the sign. So I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna lay back here. Now we're gonna be moving on to the stuff behind me, okay? So we're gonna start, hopefully nothing's too heavy. Um, so what we've got here is actually a smart air purifier. So I know I have like a bunch of air purifiers in my place. I really hope this works because I usually, these usually go around for like 100 bucks or maybe like 80 bucks. So this one's from Gobi. So I'd say like starting off, this is actually a good find. So another one here, we got a cat lookout window bed. So I guess it's specifically for cats who love looking outside, but I really don't know what this will go for. Maybe like five bucks or so. So moving on to this one here, we've actually got a shoe storage box. So it says 12 packs. So I'm actually not sure exactly what that means. I'm interested to see if it's like 12 separate packs, but so far maybe another 10 bucks for this or so. So here we have a mystery box and this is, feels like it's almost air. I think someone might've returned air to Amazon and they actually gladly accepted it. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, so what we've got here is a, I still don't know what it is. So what we've got here is, 
I guess I should kind of be careful with opening these. It might be kind of fragile. But I can kind of see that it's green. Oh, it's garbage. <laughs> So it looks like it's like vines of some sort. Artificial vines? I don't know if this is alive or not. I don't think it's alive. So it's artificial vine plants. I don't know what this will actually go for, but I don't know if that's in W or an L, but we're gonna return that, place it back over here. Now, as for other, we're gonna be going for some big products now. Just kidding guys, we have one more two box here. So this right here is actually a multi-purpose roll-up rack for the sink. I guess it's for, oh, it's a drying dish rack for your sink. So this is pretty neat. Maybe like another five bucks for here. I'm not sure what the total at we're now in terms of making back our money, but so far it's not looking too good, but there's still maybe like 20 items or so. I'm not sure how many items are in total here, but we've got another mystery box here. So we actually have a smart humidifier. So I want to say this could actually go for 20 bucks. I know that there's a lot of cheap smart humidifiers out there, but they're maybe they're not as smart as Govi. So I like this one. You know, I think we can, we can resell this one for about 20 bucks. Okay, so this one's actually a bigger one. And I'm hoping that it's something that I'll actually like or is actually worth more. So it's from a company called Moose Jaw. And they specialize in backpacking, climbing, French kissing. French kissing? Trail running, mountaineering. That's quite a diverse... I feel like some of these companies with their taglines kind of need, need to be reevaluated because they got me with backpacking and climbing, but then French kissing, I'm now absolutely like caught off guard. So let's see what Moose Jaw's got inside here. And it looks like it's a, it's a tent. Nice. I have a tent. <laughs> so at least maybe 50 bucks for this. I just hope it works. Cause sometimes tents are known to break, but yeah, this is a legitimate tent. I mean, it doesn't say how many people could actually fit in the tent. So far, this is a pretty good, hopefully it keeps us more on paths, but I would say this is around like 50 bucks. So Moose Jaw, backpacking, climbing, and also tents, I guess. We'll place this over here. So I'm getting to the point where I could actually see the bottom of the box though, but we still have around like 12 items or so to actually go through. So at this point, we're like halfway through the box. I really don't know if we're gonna make back our money, unfortunately. For this one here, it actually says on it, it's like self-adhesive 3D wall panels. So moving on, okay, so this one's actually a big doozy of an item. Okay, so what this is, is that it's a baby bassinet and bedside sleeper. So it's for babies. I just hope all the parts are inside. I'm really hoping so, just because I feel like I can resell this for a solid like 20 to $40 at the very least. So here we have a very packaged pack of bed rails. So these bed rails, I mean, I've seen a lot of medical devices like this. I think this will come in handy for someone because bed rails are used to kind of prevent people from falling or especially helping them get out of bed. So we're gonna put this to the side. I'm not sure, maybe I'll get like another 10 or 20 bucks from that. So this is actually pretty neat. And I just hope that, oh, it is heavy. It means what it means. Ugh. All right, so this is a five shelf steel shelving unit. And so it is quite heavy. I'm really hoping that all parts are in it, but I'm pretty sure that this is well over close to $150. So with it, I might even keep this myself. This is so far looking good in terms of what the bigger items that we're finding within this uh, Amazon's palettes. For this one here, I thought it was a singular light. So I was quite excited for it based on this picture that you can see there. But what this turns out to be is that it's a bunch of actually like, kind of like recessed lightings for your ceiling. And so with it, I've got a pack of about, looks like four, eight, 12. 24 lights. So I wonder how much this is just because I know that recess lighting is not the cheapest thing. So this actually might be quite a good buy. So actually I'm excited to check out how much this costs. So for this one here, I thought this was an air fryer at a quick glance based on this image here. But what this turns out to actually be is a commercial electric deep fryer from Top Kitchen. So this does, because it's like for commercial kitchens, I feel like this is quite an expensive item. So I wanna say like this is a solid 200 bucks. So at this point in the video, I really do feel like we're kind of close to actually breaking even at the very least in the palette. And we still have about, I'd say nine, eight products left it seems. So, so far looking good. You know, we started this video off with a bunch of L's, but let's keep moving on to the other boxes. So for this product here, it says it's from Bingo Paws. So I wanna assume of course that it's for pets. And when it turns out to actually be, is that it's a foldable cat litter box. And I do feel like just because so many people have a lot of animals or a lot of pets, I wanna say that they can actually, I can actually easily resell this for an easy $20. So 
Don't fall, don't fall. So we've got about eight items left. The really big boxes I've saved for last so for you guys to kind of see what's inside. I'm nearing, again, there's like a ton of really big boxes inside here. So I'm excited to see what's inside. But let's start with this one here. It's more of a flat one. It's not that heavy, actually. I thought it'd be heavier. But uh, there's no indicator as to what it is. So for some wild guess, Joe, do you want to guess what it is? Picture frame. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Another picture frame. What we have here is a, all right, so there's a lot of signs happening within this, these products here. So, so far we got a, I'm so happy to be together with you. And then I have a, I'm so happy to be with you. I think there's some signs happening here. So with it, it looks like it's a comforter or oh, it's a coat. This is actually a coat that says, I'm so happy to be you. So I apologize, it's actually just the packaging that says that it's just a brown coat. But now again, moving to the actual big product. So we'll try getting it one at a time. So for this one here, another flat one. Joe, do you want to guess what this is? Picture frame. <laughs> oh my gosh, Joe, you actually might be right. It actually might be a picture frame. Let's find out. Joe, I think third time's the charm. And what is it? Joe, it's, right. it's a picture frame. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a really high quality picture frame though. So it's actually made of glass. I'm not sure how easy I'll be able to sell this, but yeah, it's really nice and the sides are metal, but I'll be very careful with this just because, but Joe, you got it right. It's actually a picture frame. <gasps> so this is pretty neat. You've got a keyboard, a wired ergonomic keyboard. So I want to say this is a nice, easy 20 bucks. Of course, I just hope that it works. We'll have to find out later, but this is pretty neat though. Moving on from that. All right, we're nearing down to the, in terms of the exact count of how many boxes we have left, we have two, four, six, eight. So I guess I miscounted earlier in which there has definitely been more than 10 boxes left. But So for this one here, definitely not a picture frame. I'm excited to see what it is. So this is definitely a mystery box. Nothing around the box actually indicates what it is. So I'm excited to see what it is. Hopefully it's just not a bunch of garbage, but let's find out. Is this going to make us past the 600 mark? We're about to find out. All right, moment of truth. It's pretty lightweight. It's pretty large though. So we're going to find out what is in here and what do we have? I think it's a seat of some sort. It's very soft. Oh, so what these are basically like, it's like for your bed to kind of prop you up, but there's a bunch of them though, and they're really, really soft. This is actually quite neat. I have no idea how much these go for, but you can kind of see like there's some triangular shapes, more triangular shapes, kind of like half semicircle shapes. But I really wonder what this goes for, and I don't even know what the company that bought this. So the company that sells this, I'm excited to see what this goes for, is Carol Boney. So we'll see, it looks like it's just a bunch of comfortable like pillows in a way that you put either on your bed or your chair. So this is pretty neat though. I really think that I can get a couple hundred or like at least a hundred dollars for this. So here we have another mystery box. I have no idea what it is, but it is pretty lightweight. Let's find out what it is. My guess is that it actually might be a book that mistakenly got put into here. Let's find out. Oh no, oh no. I don't think, oh no. Okay, so this does not look like a good product. So what we have here is a child's backpack. I am going to donate this. I have no idea, like if you can actually see, I have no idea what's on the backpack. Looks like an ice cream cone or a unicorn, but maybe there's something inside the backpack. Nope, you've got the, oh my gosh. So take a look at those designs, okay? I have no idea what those designs are. I definitely see why this product was returned. All right, so man, I feel bad for the person who bought this, but yeah, I would definitely return it too. But with that, I'll just probably end up donating it, but we'll move on from it. Unfortunately, that's another L. If I were a child, I'd return that too. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got about like two, I don't know if there's another product behind that box over there, but we got two, four, six more boxes to go. So with this one, okay, this one's not too heavy either. All right, so this is probably the biggest box in the whole entire palette. I'm excited to see what's inside of it. So 
Let's open it up and let's be very careful not to damage it. Nothing around the box indicates what this is. However, it's not too heavy, but it is the largest item inside the crate that I bought. Alrighty, here we go. Moment of truth. Biggest item in the pallet. What could it possibly be? I'm seeing a lot of stuffing, so here we go. Ugh. So we've got a bunch of paper. It's quite misleading. Okay, so what do we got here? It looks like it's a... It's a hammock chair. So pretty neat. Maybe like a nice, easy 20, 40 bucks for this one here. I wouldn't say like this is a bad find. So we got a nice hammock chair here from Cleaning Method is what they're called. But so far, this is not bad. Surprised that this wasn't one of the two boxes though. This easily could have fit in a tube. A little misleading with this giant box, but hey, that was the biggest box in the pallet though. But we're gonna set this up with our other tube sized products. So now I can probably officially count how many products are left. So we have exactly five products left and they're still really good sized products. So we'll start with the smallest one of the five. So for this one here, complete mystery box again. Nothing in the box indicates what it is, but from previous boxes, we all know that the box is definitely misleading. But let's find out what's inside. Hopefully I don't get another one of those pink backpacks. Uh oh. Oh no. All right guys. I already know what this is, but you guys don't know just yet. But I think this might be... Okay, so what we have here are pillow inserts, it looks like. Okay, so we've got about two pillow inserts of white. I'm not sure how I feel about this. A bit indifferent, but I can tell like it's a complete set. Again, another misleading box. We're going to move on. We're down to four more boxes. So at this point, I'm quite unsure as to whether or not we broke even. A lot of it's gonna rely on later on the video as to when we actually evaluate how much these products cost. So with that, we'll move on to our last four. So for this one here, it says what it is. It's actually a vanity mirror. And so I purchased one of these before and it was about a hundred bucks, but it wasn't this size. So for this one here, the vanity mirror, I imagine I can get like a nice 20 bucks for it. So now we are down to our last three products. So one of these products I must say is quite big. I'm probably gonna need some help actually taking it out. But behind one of the products I just pulled out is another small product. So it looks like we found another hidden extra product. Uh, doesn't say what this one is, but we'll find out. Come on. So I can't open this. I actually might need to use my hands to kind of get it out. Okay. Alrighty, so here we have a... Oh! This is pretty neat. So it's actually black handlebars. It looks like it's for your bathroom and such. So with these ones here, you can kind of see it's black handlebars. This is pretty neat. I actually might use this for my own home. So I'm actually quite glad that I found this. Um, there's no... Okay, so there's actually is an instructions manual of how to use these, but this is pretty neat though. It's black handlebars. Happy with this find for a more personal use. I won't be selling these. Nice little find behind the bigger boxes that where this one came out of. But we'll set it aside for there. Folks, we are down to our last three boxes. I'm really looking for an item that's gonna set us well over that $600 mark in which we're trying to break even. And at this point, I'm a little indifferent as to whether or not we actually made our money. So let's actually start opening our last three. So for this one here, we have another complete mystery box. Nothing in the box indicates as to what it could possibly be, but as we all know, these boxes are sometimes misleading. So let's open it up and check it out. Oh no, so this one, this box here got me good. So what we have here, it's literally the shape of the box. So if you actually zoom in on that, Joe, like I still can't tell what it is, but you can tell like it's definitely not in the shape of a square. So what this is, it looks like it's a basket. So what it is, is that it's a stainless steel beverage tubs, large ice bucket for parties and weddings. So this kind of makes sense. So it's nice for like, it's a metal bucket to kind of keep your drinks cool. You put a bunch of it in here, you put some ice in it, it stays cool. It works as a cooler, but it's more open and like more visually appealing. So this is pretty neat. Although I'm not sure how much I can get for this. I probably like a mere like five or 10 bucks. So sadly we're down to our last two. I really don't know if any of those boxes are really gonna set us up top. We're about to find out. All right, so I wonder if I could actually pull these. Okay, so this one's, so a lot of the boxes that we've been pulling out, again, misleading boxes. It's a bigger box, but the item is so lightweight. Right now I'm trying to tug this box and it is quite heavy. So excited to see what this is, but at the same time, 
I'm hoping it's gonna set us apart from that $600 mark. So here we have something, which I don't know what it is. Okay, so here we actually have on this side of the box, it says what it is. We've actually got a wine cooler. So I really do think this is a really nice find just because I feel like these go for like $200 plus. I'll have to verify that. But this is like the second to the last box, which we're actually gonna be going over. I really hope this one works just because if it does, this is gonna set us well over the $600 mark of what I paid for this crate. So I must say this is a great find. I just hope that it works and we're gonna find out. So here you can see that's a wine cooler. I'm not gonna open it, but so far I'm actually really, really happy with this. This is a pretty good find. <laughs> I got a wine cooler. Wine cooler. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so far I've been really pleased with the keyboard. The first three items, a lot of the stainless steel one, pretty neat. Pleased with a lot of things. I mean, this is our very, very last box, guys, okay? At this point, I can even move the pallet myself, so it is the last one. I feel like this box, just by itself, is gonna tell us what it is, so we're about to find out. For the very last box, I'd say it's one of the biggest ones, and so if I keep turning it around... Okay, so this is actually pretty neat. What we've got here is an eight inch memory foam mattress. So it's one piece. I do think this is a great find as well. I have no idea how much these go for, but I wanna say like a memory foam mattress. I'm pretty sure that sounds expensive. So this is a great final product to be unboxing from this crate. And at this point, based on everything that we've gone through, I do think we're well over the $600 resale mark. So very pleased. I think we had a lot of clutch last items, but later on today, I'm actually gonna be looking up how much these items actually cost, uh, some the actual MSRPs, and I'm about I'm gonna calculate roughly about based on how much the item actually costs. I'm gonna sell at about 30 to 40 percent at the very least. So memory foam mattress, eight inch. I do think this is a great find. I do think this is well over hundred dollars. But with that, we're gonna go ahead and calculate how much everything costs and multiply it by a nice 30 to 40 percent. And lastly, I'm gonna show you actually what I'm actually doing with these items to make more money from them. So it's not just gonna be from resale. Make sure you watch until the end to actually see how else I'm making money from these resale packages. Okay, so I spent a couple hours trying to see if all the products that I received were missing any pieces or if they're working or broken. Of the 35 items that I received within the pallet, only two of them were actually broken or missing pieces. So with those two gone, that leaves 33 items remaining. So I went ahead and price checked all the items that I received. And I can't wait to tell you guys how much the most expensive items I received were. And also stay until the end because I'm gonna show you what else I'm doing other than reselling in order to make money off of these pallets. So of the 33 items, I had 14 items within the $20 to $50 range. Now I had 10 items within the $50 to $99 range, and those were the Govi humidifier, the foldable cat litter box, the Govi air purifier, the pop-up tent, the hammock, the orthopedic pillows, the floating frame, the reversible mat, the collapsible hanger, and the pet storage bag. Now as for the items that were actually worth more than $100, I'm gonna be going from lowest to least. And so the neon sign that I received was $100 exactly on Amazon. The 3D wall panels priced about $107 on Amazon. The steel shelf I got was worth $125. The eight inch memory foam mattress was worth $130. The Suncor recess lighting was actually worth $150. The baby bassinet was worth $165. The wine cooler which I received, which actually was working, was worth $180. Now the electric deep fryer from Top Kitch was worth $200. And last but not least, you won't believe how much the most expensive item was. And it was actually that coat which had the funny words on it. All right, so there's a lot of signs happening within this. That was worth $250 on Amazon. So to my surprise, the coat, which I didn't even take out of the bag, was worth the most. So everything added together is worth $2,654 on Amazon. So that's pretty darn good. But we all know I won't be able to sell everything at 100% retail price as what it is on Amazon. So at the very least, I'm hoping to get at least 30% retail sale value. If I sell everything, I should make about $796.20. So for this Amazon's returns palette, I spent $652 on it. So if I do sell everything, 
my profit is gonna come out to $144.20. In all honesty, that's not too much, but what do you guys think? Is 30% resale value actually good enough or is it gonna be less or is it gonna be higher? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you're wondering how else I'm gonna make money off of these resale products, it's with this program called Amazon Influencer Program. And how it works is that I'm actually gonna be making review videos on all these items I bought and then actually posting them on Amazon. And then when someone watches that video on Amazon and then buys a product within that same category, I receive a commission. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and be up to date for when episode two gets released. I am gonna be buying more Amazon review palettes and also keeping you guys up to date in terms of how much I'm making reselling these Amazon returns palettes. I'll see you all in episode two.